in 2011, it was at an Amendment 64 rally. Does anybody here know what Amendment 64 is? Legalize it! It's legalized marijuana in Colorado. Uh, and he was speaking about that at the University of Colorado, and it was an outstanding speech. Um, but now, I would like to announce uh, the straw poll, which we took online. But I would like to give you some stipulation on it. Unfortunately, the Strong poll did go viral on Twitter, actually before the conference even begun. A whole bunch of Donald Trump fans got a hold of it and just spread it all over Twitter. And Donald Trump would like, receive thousands of votes all of a sudden. But that's why we cleared it and started it right when the conference started and asked for everybody to vote um, in the Strong poll. But it keeps going viral again and again and again in Twitter. So that is where we're at with the straw poll. Also, just in my own personal opinion, uh, there was one person missing on the straw poll, Frank Underwood. Yeah. Woo! Who is Frank Underwood? So, I will announce the straw poll winners in third place, give a little like drum roll on your knees there, was former Governor Gary Johnson. In second place, again with the knees. In second place was Austin Peterson. Woo! And in first place, you drum, was uh, some guy from Texas named Ted Cruz. <laughs> but these are our straw poll winners, but because the virality of Twitter, social media, it has its pluses and minuses. But did you enjoy your day today at the last day of the International Student School Review Conference? Yeah. I absolutely had the most fantastic time this weekend. Um, but I would like to introduce to the stage, once again, for our closing remarks, the president and co-founder of Students for Liberty, please welcome Alexander Lukoma. You know, ladies and gentlemen, it's great to see that Chicago has had a lasting influence on our society. Vote early and vote often, please. <laughs> but really, I hope you all have had an amazing weekend. This is our ninth annual International Students for Liberty Conference, and I think without a doubt, it's been the best one yet. There have been so many people who have contributed so much to make this possible. I want to thank the Hewlett Events Group especially for putting this conference on for us. Thank you so much for that. And all the staff who have made so much of this. But of course, the most important people are Students for Liberty's leaders who are working on the ground day in day out for all of this. And I shouldn't be up here on the stage alone. I want to invite all the Students for Liberty's staff, executive board members, campus coordinators, local coordinators, all the volunteers to come up on stage to get your round of applause that you deserve to close this conference.
You'll probably know who you are. I won't. 